Welcome to Cooking with Soul, hosted by me, Tambor Ray. Um, brought to you by U.S. Botanic Garden. Today we are going to be doing a back to the beach breakfast bowl that is going to be with our key ingredient, the plantain. Now, many people may confuse plantain bananas. No, no. The difference is one, bananas we can just eat, peel and eat. Plantain, we must cook. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. I had the pleasure of eating so many different variations of plantain, but before I dive into that, with every piece, we honor black women in food. So today we are honoring Dr. Jessica Harris, a James Beard award-winning author out of New York, who also has a mother who was a dietitian. And one of her books that is part of my collection is the Africa Cookbook. Um, it allows you to travel, especially in these times where we're not traveling, uh, to go to Nigeria, to Ghana, to Senegal, to Tanzania, to South Africa. And so in this dish, we're going to the Caribbean. And so we love the Mighty Plantain and you can make it in so many different variety of ways. Um, everything from Mofongo, from studying in Dominican Republic, but also um, you can boil it, you can steam it, you can mash it, you can fry it. Um, and so in this dish, we're going to do a pan fry and our mighty cast iron skillet. Um, also, uh, wanting to give a special honor to a black woman farmer, uh, Mama Boy, we affectionately call her, who's in Prince George's County, Maryland. Um, she is growing a variety of African crops that we have had the pleasure of bringing other black moms and families to be able to harvest fresh produce, everything from Jama Jama to Kalalu, um, and our collars and our kales, our Swiss chards. Um, and so we wanted to make a note of that because we're going to make sure that we not only diversify our diet through local farm fresh foods, but also encourage all of us to support our local farms, particularly our black and women farmers. Um, and so with that said, let's get started. So when we start this dish, we are going to go through the list of ingredients. We have the plantain that I'll cut up, but also the ingredients are the black bean. Also we have onion, we have avocado, we have red bell pepper, and also we have cilantro. And then we also will be using an egg for this dish to do a scrambled egg. And we're gonna cook the plantain in coconut oil, not refined, but organic. And we're also going to cook our black beans with a little bit of lime and also Himalayan uh, pink sea salt. So let's get started. First, we cut off the edges of our plantain. And then I like to cut down, split, and it makes it easy to peel off the skin. And we like to get it as ripe as possible because it's sweeter. Um, a favorite dish, platanos maduros, uh, we would enjoy, we would just slice them, uh, coat them in like a combination of cinnamon and other spices and fry them, but in this case, we're going to just um, put a little bit of salt. Now, if this dish is just me, um, this is fine, but we may also want to cut up another plantain and include, because we have some hungry people waiting for this dish. We're going to slice right down the middle. Now let's get the frying pan warmed up. So now we're taking our coconut oil. The cast iron skillet is heated um, and we're going to drizzle um, just a little bit to just enough to coat the pan. You're going to shift that around. 
So I don't know about you all, but everyone I knew in my family had a cast iron skillet. And so I keep the tradition alive by um, having it in my kitchen um, and hopefully pass it on down. So it is a great handy piece of cooking equipment um, that I like to have. Now, the other thing that we could have done was sprinkle some salt at the bottom of the pan. Um, or you can go no salt, especially for those who are very mindful of reducing their salt intake as well. Because we're definitely going to make sure we have enough flavor and spices from the other components of the dish. So no worries if it doesn't um, get added to this part of the menu. So as that's preparing, we're going to begin mixing our eggs for the rest of the recipe. So depending on how many people you're feeding, you could do one, you can do two if it's just one to two people, but if it's about three or four, I use four eggs. So think about one per person is a good rule of thumb because the egg is part of it, but it's not going to overpower this dish since plantain really is the frame to this wonderful dish. And we're gonna use our whisk whisk till um, the color is very homogenous. Sometimes you see peaks of dark, light yellow. And so if you can whisk that around to the point where they become one. We're gonna put this to the side and check on our plantain. Um, and also we're going to take our onion and our black beans and our peppers over. And if you find it sticking to the pan, you can always add a little bit of oil to it. You see the color change and you see the color hasn't. So we'll allow that to cook a little bit more and add just a little bit more coconut oil. So the thing about coconut oil, I love it beyond just cooking. I also keep a container in my bathroom and I love it using it on my hair, on my skin. Sometimes I'll blend in essential oils like a lavender or peppermint, um, and then also use the essential oils in my diffuser to help bring a more aromatic environment in the home that's natural and doesn't you know, spread contaminants in the house, especially when you have children with asthma. Um, and so coconut oil is definitely one of those staple ingredients in my kitchen, along with a, a variety of oils at different smoking points. Um, so we're not cooking with extra virgin olive oil, which is more appropriate for our salads and our marinades. And we use uh, medium uh, temperature oil uh, when it comes to just pan fry. And then we also have things like safflower oil or peanut oil in the kitchen as well. So we like to use all oil sparingly, of course, um, but just enough to be able to add a good dose of healthy fat in our lives itself. So just be mindful of these pieces of information when you're making decisions about your health and your family. We're going to uh, next cook the onion along with our bell pepper. We stir that around until they're sauteed in, in a translucent color, particularly the onion. Then we're gonna add the black bean is next. So we're gonna let that cook down. 
for just a few more minutes and then we're going to transition it back into this bowl and start with our eggs next. Having black beans is a great way to get your protein and your fiber in. You can always add uh, a whole grain, whether it's a rice um, or a millet fonio um, to this dish if you're looking for a complementary protein and you want to skip the egg if you want to go plant forward and vegan. So as we get the last bit of the bean out, we're going to add a little bit more coconut oil so we can prepare for the egg. Here we go. Avocado. You can always add tomatoes if you want more colorant and nutrients. So we have our final dish, back to the beach breakfast bowl, which is great for just you, your family um, to eat together. So to turn that back to the beach breakfast bowl, we are converting it into a burrito because what do the kids want? Burrito! Exactly. So let's get started. We're going to put a little bit of egg, a little bit of bean, a little avocado, and cilantro, some healthy fat and proteins. And if you have the vegan kit, just skip over the eggs and add the cilantro, beans, and the avocado. Kids, can you roll your own burritos? Yes. All right, go for it. What do you think, Ellie? Good. It's really tasty, the habanero. Okay, we like it spicy. So thank you, kids. Enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Soul. Thank you for tuning in. Post comments on this recipe across all social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with U.S. Botanic Garden. Thank you.